Hey everyone, in this video we'll be talking about NLP in the next 10 minutes. So what can you expect from this video? What's in it for you? First, we'll give you a basic understanding of NLP. We'll tell you why we need NLP and we'll talk about what NLP exactly is. Next, we'll look at NLP pipelines. NLP pipelines cover the basic processes involved in text passing in NLP, which means converting text to a form suitable for machines to understand as humans would understand it. And finally, we'll talk about some real-world applications of NLP which are all around us and a lot more common than you might have realized. So, let's get started. So, what exactly is NLP? Before we talk about NLP, let's talk about how humans talk and interact with each other. Humans communicate with each other mostly via speech or text. To convey your intent to someone, you may directly talk to them or send them a message. The human way of communicating is known as natural language. Around the globe, many languages are spoken and messages are shared virtually every single day. All these conversations, feedbacks and messages are data in themselves. This data is extremely valuable as it can give us customer information and insight into human sentiment. However, this data is not useful to computers as it is not in a form that can be understood by machines. Machines communicate using ones and zeros and not via words. They cannot understand English, French or Spanish, only binary. And this is where NLP comes into the picture. NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. Natural language processing is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with the interactions between humans and computers using the natural language. The ultimate objective of NLP is to read, decipher, understand and make sense of human languages in a manner that is valuable and to build systems that can make sense of text and perform tasks like translation, grammar checking or topic classification. NLP basically is the task of processing written forms of languages and making a computer understand them. Companies are increasingly using NLP equipped tools to gain insights from data and to automate routine tasks. A sentiment analyzer, for instance, can help brands detect emotions in text such as negative comments on social media. NLP at the end of the day is nothing more than accumulation of artificial intelligence, computer science, and the human language. The next topic that we'll be looking at are NLP pipelines. So what exactly are pipelines? A pipeline is a set of data processing elements which are connected in series where the output of one element is the input of the next one. It basically represents the various steps which have to be taken in our computation and the order in which they occur. In this pipeline we are going to be parsing our data. Parsing means converting our data from one form to another. In this case, we are parsing our input text data to a file which can be understood by our computer. The text is first broken into segments and the segments are then converted into even smaller tokens. The word stems of all of these tokens are found followed by finding the root words of these stems in a process known as lemmatization. We will then recognize which part of speech the word belongs to, which means if the word is a verb, a noun or a pronoun. And finally, we will separate the instances of everyday popular entities from our words to better understand what the sentence is trying to convey. The final file that we'll get will be a file which will be understood by a computer. Segmentation. The first process of a pipeline is segmentation. Now what exactly is segmentation? Sentence segmentation or text segmentation is basically dividing the given text into logically decipherable units of information. We divide the sentence into its constituent sub-sentences, usually along the punctuations like full stops or commas or along line breaks and page components for HTML files. Dividing a document into its constituent sentences allows us to process it without losing its essence and the necessary information that it contains. In this case, let's consider a sentence, the lemonade quenched her thirst but not her longing. After sentence segmentation, we are going to divide the sentence into two. The first sentence is going to be the lemonade quenched her thirst and the second one is going to be but not her longing. 
The next step of our pipeline is called tokenization. Tokenization is nothing but the process of dividing a sentence into its constituent words. The sentence that is given to us will be separated and all the words in the sentence will be stored separately. This is done so we can understand the syntactic and semantic information contained in each sentence. Thus, we decipher the relevance of a sentence by analyzing it word by word, thereby making sure that no loss of information occurs. The computer does not understand punctuations and special characters. Hence, we can remove any punctuations and special characters which may occur. Let's take a part of a previously segmented sentence. Over here, let's consider the lemonade quenched her thirst. After tokenization, we are going to separate every single word in this sentence. So, after tokenization, we are going to get five different tokens. The, lemonade, quenched, her and thirst. All of these are going to be treated as separate entities. After tokenization, we perform stemming. Stemming is a process of obtaining the word stems of a word. Word stems are also known as the base form of a word and we can create new words by attaching affixes to them in a process known as inflection. Stemming is a process of recognizing the word stems of individual words. This is done by removing affixes such as ing, s, ed, etc. For example, consider our sentence jump. Jump is the word stem of various different words like jumping, jumped and jumps. If we remove all of these affixes, we will get our basic word stem which is jump. This is basically what we want at the end of stemming. The next process in our pipeline is called lemmatization. Lemmatization is the process of figuring out the root form or root word which is nothing but the most basic form, also known as the lemma, of each word in the sentence. Lemmatization is very similar to stemming, where we remove word affixes to get the base form of a word. The difference is that the root word is always a word which is present in the dictionary, but the root stem may not be so. Lemmatization uses a knowledge base called WordNet. Let's consider three different words, went, going and gone. At the end of the day, all of these words have originated from a single word, which is go. In this case, go is our lemma. All the other words which are derived from go can be traced back to it. The next part of our pipeline is called part of speech tagging. Part of speech tagging is a process of converting a sentence to different forms. It can be a list of words or a list of tuples. The tag in case of is a part of speech tag and signifies whether the word is a noun, adjective, verb and so on. We are basically splitting our verbs into their grammatical components. To understand the meaning of any sentence or to extract relationships and to build a knowledge graph, part of speech tagging is a very important step as the same word can have different part of speeches in different sentences. For example, let's consider this sentence give me your answer. In this sentence, answer is a noun. But if we consider another sentence, answer the question, over here, answer will be a verb. Using part of speech tagging, we can take our different tokens and find the different part of speech that it belongs to. In this case, the is a determiner, lemonade is a noun, quenched is a verb, her is a pronoun and thirst is a noun. The final step in our NLP pipeline that we are looking at here is nothing but named entity recognition. Named entity recognition, also known as named entity identification, entity chunking and entity extraction is a subtask of information extraction that seeks to locate and classify named entities which are mentioned in unstructured text into predefined categories. Extracting the main entities in a text helps us sort unstructured data and detect important information which is crucial if you have to deal with large data sets. The subcategories that we are considering are person, whether the named entity is a person, whether it's a quantity like kilograms, a location, an organization, the name of a movie, or whether it's a monetary value like dollars or euros. So far, we've looked at what NLP is and how we can perform natural language processing. 
but what are some applications of it and where is it used in the real world? One of the applications of NLP is in chatbots. Chatbots can help you solve issues while performing natural language generation. In other words, they can hold a conversation in plain English. A chatbot is nothing but a software application which can be used to conduct an online chat conversation, either through text or speech, in place of providing direct contact with a live human agent. You might have seen those talk to one of our agents section on websites. Those are usually chatbots. A lot of companies also use WhatsApp chatbots to make the process seem less mechanical. Another application of NLP is speech recognition. Probably the most popular example of NLP in action are virtual assistants like Google Assist, Siri and Alexa. Natural language processing understands and translates the human language like Hey Siri, where is the nearest gas station? into numbers making it easy for machines to understand. They recognize when you are talking, converting speech to text and understand what you requested. Over the years, virtual assistants have become streamlined enough to be able to emulate human speech patterns almost flawlessly. Another application of NLP is autocorrection. Autocorrection, also known as text replacement, replace as you type, or simply autocorrect, is an automatic data validation function commonly found in word processors and text editing interfaces for smartphones and tablet computers. It acts as a spell check and corrects any spellings or grammar mistakes which may arise as you are typing. Some language check softwares like Grammarly, Paperator, Reverso and others can even check how unique and engaging your articles are. And all of this is done using NLP. Now this brings us to the end of this video on NLP in 10 minutes. We hope that the video was useful to your journey to learning NLP. To learn more about natural language processing and related topics, you can check out the Simply Learn website, which is linked in the description below. To keep learning with fun interactive videos, do subscribe to the Simply Learn channel. Thank you for watching and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.